Hey, what's up? Alex from Motionland here, and this is an overview of the massive update of the AViewer 2.0 Pro version. The first and the most significant feature is that AViewer now supports Premiere Pro, and you can preview and import files the same way as you did in After Effects. Also, more formats have been added, for example, Premiere Project files, AAC, audio files, TXT, JSON, and many more. We made another significant improvement to the media server, completely rewriting it from scratch. So now it supports more formats and due to the new caching mechanism, it is way faster. So when you open any folder for the second time, a viewer will display all previews almost instantly. Let's get back to After Effects and see a new cool integration we did. Now you can create your library of expressions in a couple of clicks. Inside a viewer, open a folder where you want to store your expressions preset, then perform a right click of the mouse on the property with expression and choose keyframe assistant create preset from expression. A viewer will save a static preview of expression and add it to your folder. Now you can choose any property and apply newly created expression with a double click. If you want to add a playable preview to your expression, preset, add GIF or MPEG4 file with the same name under the same folder. Other features we've been working on are preview modes. Two new preview modes have been added. Big thumbnail, which makes previewing videos more accessible, and list mode, where you can see the file sizes, sort the list using the name, type, date or file size. You can also customize the visibility of the folder size under the Appearance tab, which will save you some time during the file browsing. Since we are already browsing, you can see the previews of the folders are now automatically generated. And if we check the FFX files, you will be able to see that the default presets now have previews. We did lots of minor fixes, for example, you will see the previously visited folder while navigating the file system. Grid scale slider now works correctly. And during the import, the fit to scale option supports any width and height. There are more to come and we have lots of cool new features to be available soon. So stay tuned until next time.